Hey folks, Zach McGinnis here from Pete's RV Center. I'm an RV lifestyle consultant. I'm, today I'm gonna to take you through the Reserve 2016 33RL. Right. right away we're gonna start here on the A-frame with the electric tongue jack. Those of you that have had a camp before that has a manual crank, you know it sometimes is a hassle to go up and down, up and down, not anymore with this. You have those touch with bond to put it up and down. Right back here, you're also gonna have dual 30 pound propane tanks which is 10 pounds more than you'll usually see. Usually you see the dual 20 pound propane tanks, but the reserve is giving you those bigger propane tanks. You dry campers are gonna love that, that extra 10 pounds. It's got a dual battery rack as well. Once again, for you dry campers, it's gonna be really convenient being able to throw two batteries on as opposed to one and last a lot longer. Last thing on the front I'd like to talk about is these LED light strips on the front, both sides. All right, now what that's gonna do is when you get to the campsite late at night, you're gonna be able to see you're unhooking your levels because you're gonna have this on that gets very bright. All right, we're gonna move on to the side here. Right here, you're gonna have your front storage compartment. You can see how spacious that is. Okay, you got a light in here. So once again, same scenario, you get it late at night, you can see what you're unpacking. You also are gonna have your laminated flooring in here as opposed to carpeting, which you might see in some other brands. So it's gonna be far easier to clean this up when you track in the dirt from things that have been on the ground. Very convenient. If we keep going, we're gonna notice that this has a power awning on it. Once again, those of you that have had a cam before with a manual awning, you're gonna know what it's like to crank that thing in and out every time it gets windy. It's no fun. Now, with a touch of a bun, it's all the way out, all the way in when you need it to. Very easy. Last thing I want to touch on with you guys on the outside is the outside speakers. Now I know a lot of you like to start partying late at night and get those outside speakers booming to annoy your neighbors and have a good time. Well, you got those. All right, now let's take you on the inside. First thing I notice when I walk into this reserve is all the space you have in your living area. All right, with two slides on both sides, it opens things up and get you a lot of walking room, okay? Take it all in, Viet. Right here, you're gonna have your refrigerator, six cubic feet, with your auto changeover, okay? So what that's gonna do is if you have it on auto, if you're plugged in at your campsite with your electricity, it's just gonna pull it right from the electricity to cool your fridge and your freezer, all right? But now if you're running off your propane, it's gonna know that and it's gonna automatically pull it from your propane tanks to keep it cool which is very nice instead of having to switch it over as you go, very convenient. Right here, you're gonna notice that we have raised panel cabinetry in this unit. It looks very residential, it's gonna be more durable, and it just looks really nice. I think you guys would agree. If you notice this island kitchen, it's a great feature because it does give you more preparation space when you're cooking. You have counter space here, there, here, just a ton of space to cook a lot of food and be able to prepare it without it being right on top of each other. If you also notice in the kitchen, you will not find a lot that has all these cabinets, all this storage space right here. If there's one thing I can tell you guys, no one ever complains about too much storage in a camper. You can never get enough of it. Right here on your entertainment center, First, you'll notice that nice window there, okay? So when you're not watching TV, you can enjoy the view of the lake, of the campground, of your kids running around, anything you want. Then when Sunday rolls around, you're ready for some football, just a touch of a button, you now have your TV. So you can get it out of the way, or you can have it. It's a nice, easy push on the top, and it's back in, and you get all that space back. And if we keep moving right here, that's what we're gonna call a sleeper sofa. This is gonna fold out and you're gonna get almost a full king size bed. It is a lot of space. You taller folks know the, the problems you usually have with sleeping on maybe a booth dinette or a very small couch. It, it's not fun. This is gonna fold out really far and you, you seven feet tall, you're gonna enjoy sleeping on this. It's not gonna be a hassle. Move on. You have your recliners right here. What's nice about these is they are facing straight onto your entertainment center. What you're gonna see on other brands is they're gonna put them to the side, you know, over here, over there, and the issue is you're looking at an angle and usually one person can't see from that angle. Not here, you got two of them looking directly on, no one will have an issue seeing the TV. All right, we'll keep moving over here. You notice you got freestanding dinette chairs. 
you know, it's more residential. I feel like it gives you a little more space than a booth dinette does. It actually gives you a little more storage too. If you look under here, Viet, you'll notice that little hidden storage. Very convenient for some playing cards, utensils, anything like that. All right, once again, just more and more storage space. Really cannot get enough of that. Right here by the door, you're gonna notice that all your controls for your slides, your awning and your outside lights are all right there. So you're not gonna find a slide in your bedroom, a slide here and then a slide out in your living room. It's all right there, easy to find. Uh, um, all you campers have had something like that, you know that's hassle to find the slide buttons. And here you will notice right away, it's a very spacious bathroom, you don't feel cramped. Now you'll have a glass shower enclosure which is going to be nicer than a, a, just a curtain. Um, you don't have to worry about airing out it out the the um, the curtain. I apologize, the curtain. All right. You also notice you have a skylight up there. All right. So once again, you taller folks will be able to stand in there, no problem. Keep moving. You'll notice this dresser slide. Okay. Not all bedrooms offer all this storage. So you'll have room for shoes, shirts, you'll be able to hang things. Really anything that you need in here, you'll be able to fit. Right here, you're gonna have your queen size mattress with a ton of under bed storage, which you'll also be able to access your storage compartment from. It's nice because it's on gas struts, you'll be able to load and unload without having to hold this thing up. Now, if we look on both sides of the bed, you'll notice that there is outlets on both sides. So when you have a tablet, an alarm clock, and your phones that you need to charge, there's plenty of outlets there so everyone can be charging what they need. Last thing I'd like to touch on in the bedroom right here is a spot for a mounting bracket. So you can throw a TV on there on a swing bracket and get television in your bedroom as well. So that's all I have for you to get today, guys. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to go to our website, pizzarvvt.com. Come right into our store, Wilson Road, South Burlington, Vermont, or give us a call. We're always here for you guys. Thanks. Have a great day.